Hey guys, I just got back from a road trip through Arizona and one of the places I got to check out was Meteor Crater National Landmark in Winslow, Arizona. It's about a three hour drive north of Phoenix and about a three hour drive south of the Antelope Canyon. Now I want to make this video as kind of like an informative video to see if this is something worth your time to stop off and do. Now admission into the Discovery Center costs $18 for adults. When we had arrived, we saw a few people leaving because they didn't want to pay the fee to get in, saying it was too much. We proceeded to go in as it was something we really wanted to see, and I'm glad we did. The scenery is absolutely amazing, and being in a location where a meteor hit the flatlands of Arizona and now created this crater 50,000 years ago is really something awesome. And while you're there, you can walk through their nice little museum and watch a 10 minute movie that demonstrates how the meteor crater was formed. 50,000 years ago, this was created here in Arizona by a 150 foot meteor. Now what really makes the price of admission worth it is guys, take the guided tour. It's so worth it. Our tour guide was very friendly and very knowledgeable. He took us on about a one hour tour and gave us a lot of facts and stuff that we wouldn't have known otherwise. Plus you can get some amazing pictures while you're up there. Now, after the guided tour, you can go to the other side of the meteor crater. It's a section where it's open to everybody. So if you just wanna pay your admission, go in and take a couple pictures and not really take the tour, you go to this other side of the meteor crater, which again, has some amazing views as well, but it's just kind of open to you and you can kind of go at your own pace. Now, Meteor Crater is kind of out of the way. It's not really near anything. So if you're going there, I kind of want to make this video to let you know if you think the $18 is worth your admission. For us, absolutely, it was definitely worth it. Especially if you're going to do all the activities, you know, take the guided tour, look through the museum, and spend some time out there taking pictures. We were there for about two hours or so and absolutely loved it. But if you're just going to go off the road and you think you're just going to get a quick picture, you really can't without paying the admission. So I would say don't even bother. Now, have you guys been to Meteor Crater? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys think it was worth the $18 admission? Leave me a comment below. I'd like to know your thoughts. Okay. I mean, how many times am I going to be in Bedrock, Arizona? I have to go down the giant slide. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment. In my next travel video, we're going way back in time to check out a very unique travel location set in the Stone Ages.